The audio on the uh, first portion of the unboxing video uh, was going through my GoPro, so you may not have been able to hear it, but... So here's the Spider Farmer uh, 1000. It's got the Meanwell XLG uh, 100 Meanwell driver. So this is their new model SF1000. Um, there's a the little placard there. And then uh, it's got, you can daisy chain these lights so you can connect multiple lights through RJ45 cable. Uh, there are the ports there. So this is the on off switch here, right? So that turns the entire light off. But if we put it on dim, then it'll turn it off. So that's the off, off switch, that's the on switch, and then if it's on dimmable, you can dim this down all the way to, looks like 10%, and then that goes all the way up. You can also bypass the dimming feature with this other switch over here, and just have it to 100%. So, um, I'm just going to let the plants get used to this light, so I'm going to put it on probably 50%. I just put it in here, um, put it on ratchet pulleys, and then it's got these mounting wires here that go into the frame. You can also just put these directly into this light, so you can just put the ratchet pulley directly into the light. It looks like the holes will probably be big enough to support it. Uh, fortunately, I just checked out the ceiling, so I've got these maxed all the way out. Um, I checked the height from the top of the plant here, and that's about, it's about uh, 21 inches there. So I'm going to be flipping these two into flowers, so I'm not so worried about that. Because the, they rated this light for flowering at 18 to 24 inches, and veg was about, let's see what it says here. Oh yeah, so we've got we've got 18 to 24 for veg, and then we've got 12 to 18 for flower. So we'll see what that does. Um, but right now we're looking at, like I said, about 21 inches from the top of the light there, and there's a peak at it on pretty darn bright. So these are using the. 301B chipset from Samsung. And this is the new version of the Spider Farm. The previous version didn't have this um, this controller for dimming. The dimming, I believe, was underneath the driver from what I I, I, I didn't have one. This is the first time I'm using a Spider Farmer. But from previous uh, you know videos that I checked out, it looked like the dimmer capability was on the underside, so you had to remove this here to get to the dimmer underneath. So they've added the dimmer functionality there, as well as the ability to daisy chain it. Um, and I think you probably also use a controller, could use a controller with that, um, through RJ45. But I thought it was interesting they put two separate switches. So one's the on switch for the light, this one also engages dimmer or bypasses the dimmer. But I do like the fact that it gave you a, a pretty good knob for dimming. So I'll set that to percent But there you have it, guys. Um, I'm going to be including this in the next few updates on the channel. Um, we're going to be putting these in a flower tomorrow. So I'm just going to let the plants get acclimated to it. Flip these tomorrow. And... Uh, We'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see how the plants like it. So yeah, guys, there's a look at the light. Um, I want to give my thanks to Spider Farmer for reaching out and sponsoring this light. Um, so we're going to be giving this a shot for, for flower in the 3x3. So you'll see this in the next few updates. Um, like I said, this is the Spider Farmer 1000. And... Uh, Spider Farmer was gracious and generous enough to send me one so I could try it out for myself. And uh, you guys can see how the plants like it. So uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. Drop me a comment. And uh, check out the description on the video uh, for more information on Spider Farmer and where you can get one for yourself. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Update. All right, take care, guys. Bye.